Hey guys, Dan here. So Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 dropped. The start was rough, but I feel like it's getting better every day. Launch day was terrible. As of today, I can at least usually play the game, but yeah, let's give them some time. I'm sure they will fix it. But since we have a new sim, I thought this time I need to properly organize my community folder because it was just a mess because I was using the the updaters from Builds, for example, and then that would put everything in that Build folder. And that kind of annoyed me because typically you only want to boot up the game with the scenery loaded that you actually want to use. If you, if you link all the scenery and all the aircrafts and start the game, it will just be crowded. It will take forever to load. Performance of the sim will not be as good. It might lead to more crashes. I don't know. I mean, obviously, I haven't tested it, but it's highly recommended to only load the scenery that you are actually flying. So to do this, we want to use a tool called MSFS Add-ons Linker 2020-24. So this guide will work for 2020 as well as for 2024. So go to FlightSimTO, grab that tool. Uh, I'll leave the link in the description, obviously. Uh, just download it, unzip it somewhere, and then launch it. And the second tool that you will need for my guide is something called SimLink Creator. I'll also put the link in the description, just grab it. And the first time you will launch the add-ons linker, you will see something like this. And here you basically will have to set your community folder for the, the Steam version. It is in uh, Users. Then your username, it is in C, users, then your username. And then if you cannot see app data, click here, view, show, and then hidden items. That needs to be uh, checked, otherwise you won't see it. App data, roaming, then Microsoft Flight Simulator, then packages, community. So this is your community folder in 24. If you're on the Microsoft Store version, it's an app data, local packages, Microsoft.limitless, whatever, local cache, packages, community. So this is the folder you want to put into the add-ons linker here. And then you can also create a preset folder. I've put that in, in my, my OneDrive so it's synced and, and backed up all the time. And then you have the add-ons folder. So what I've done in the past is just like put the builds folder in there, the OrbX folder in there, and all the 2000 software tools that you need to update your sceneries. This time you see I have a folder called MSFS24 Community Organized. And if I actually go onto my flight folder here, we see we have Organized and Raw. So what I do with the Raw folder is you see here, this is just the Inibuilds library. And then here, for example, the OrbX library, only Prague in here right now. And what I put in organized is just folders for aircrafts sorted by manufacturer or airports, for example, Europe. And then let's say I want to fly in Germany, I can easily select the airports in Germany. And that way it is kind of organized and easier to select what you're actually using. But the problem in the past was I just downloaded the scenery and then copied it into the organized folder. And then when there was an update, I wouldn't know because the file is not in that folder anymore for the Inibuilds updater, for example. But with Simlinks, you can actually avoid that problem. So let's, for example, go in here and download Warsaw install. So this will take a little second. It's the 2020 version, but from my experience, all the sceneries that I have tested work perfectly fine in 24, even if they are not updated. I mean, maybe there are bugs here and there, like sometimes you see floating jetways or something like that. But overall, I think it has been pretty good. But while this is copying means we already do have the folder here. So you see here Jevjecki, Jevjecki, I don't know how to pronounce that, uh, design Warsaw. So what I do now is I actually launch the Simlink creator. And then in the destination path, I will select my, my organized folder. We'll go to airports, Europe, Poland. So this is basically where it will not really copy, but link it to. So I'll select this folder 
and then source file will be from the raw folder. So I go to add folders here, then I go to my inibuilds library, and then here, the Warsaw, just click that. Uh, you just want to be in this folder and then click on select folder. And that's it. Then select create some links. You might get a notification because it needs admin rights to create that. You don't have to use this. You can also do it in the command line, um, but I just like UIs. I find it easier to just do it like that. And then you can close this. And what this did was just when you go to organized airports, Europe, Poland, you see here's a link to Warsaw. So if I click here, it will actually hop into my files that are now, it looks like it's an organized, but it's actually in the other folder, in the raw folder. And when I then go to my add-ons linker, you see add-ons, refresh needed. If I refresh, you see there's one more airport. And now if I go to Europe, you see Poland, there's one airport and I can select that. So the advantage of doing this, I mean, it's that one extra step where you have to symlink it into this. If there is an update, for example, here on the inibuilds downloader, when there's an update, you will see it here. It will still see your files. It will update just fine and it will not affect that symlink. So you can just use the inibuilds updater. You can use the orpx updater. You can use any, any of those tools and always update your sceneries, but you don't have to worry about copying it manually into an organized folder and yeah. This folder structure, uh, I generated it with chat GPT. I will actually just put that on my Discord. Let's do it right now, I'll create a folder, flight sim files, and I'll just put my community organizer with aircraft in here. So if you wanna grab that, join the Discord, I put the link in the description, of course, and then you can just, this this includes all the files. So let's say you wanna have like new community folder, you just put it in, the, in there and then right click, extract all. And here we, oh, okay, I didn't need to create the, all, the, the folder name, but you see here now you have the folder structure for scenery, plugins, airports. You can also just like generate this with ChatGPT. I didn't make it myself. I just was asked ChatGPT to make me an organized folder and it came out pretty much perfect. But yeah, once you have done that, you can easily go into the add-ons linker before you launch the game. Just say, hey, I want to fly in Europe, maybe from Germany to Italy. Select those two folders, done, launch the game, and you will only have the airports that you're actually interested in. And yeah, you can do the same with aircrafts. Like there's some, some manufacturers in here. Right now, there's not a lot of stuff that works on 24. I tried the Phoenix, didn't work. A380 worked relatively well. I'm not sure about the PMDG stuff, but we'll get there. But yeah, this is how I currently keep my add-ons folder organized, updatable, so that the sim still boots fast and performs well. But yeah, I think that's all I wanted to explain in this video. Let me know in the comments if you have a better idea how to organize it, um, or just put something in the comments that always helps with the algorithm. Uh, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more flight simulation content. And yeah, I hope to see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.